Hi, my name is Tim Titchmarsh from .NET Architect in the UK. Today we're talking about using formulas in the data access layers. If you've been using LineSpeed for a while, you'll realize that um, the formulas is very powerful. You can type formulas into the application in the designer, um, which gets used at runtime to create, update, modify, enhance the operation of your application without having to delve into the C-sharp or VB code. A bit like you're using Excel for example where you're typing in macros and creating your own formulas. These can be used and you probably use them mainly in the presentation layer. Today we're talking about how we would use those in the data access layer. So let's just find out and recap what formulas are and where they are. So I've got a very simple application open that I've created and we're looking at a list of table, a uh, list of countries um, and those countries, I've got 242 of them in a table called country type. As you can see, we're looking in live preview and I have a list of the countries before me. Obviously in design mode, we've got our page and on the page you've got various buttons, controls, etc. Where would we use formulas? Well, we go to the formula tab below. Uh, let's just pick uh, an item on the page that has that. So we're going to look at the uh, show country table as we say and let's look at the fields for example go to formulas and depending on which field I pick of course will depend what formula comes up. Which is all very well when we're working on the presentation layer we want to take that one step uh, beyond that and talk about the business layer and the data access layer where information is stored regarding the database and that is shared information that every page so if we've got the country used on many pages and we had a formula only on that page and obviously the formula would only work on that page what we're doing by moving that formula into the data access layer is making it shared across all pages that use country type so it saves us having to repeat the same thing on every page we just do it once in the data access layer so what I mean there is if we have code for example and I wanted to put some validation or enforce maybe uppercase so you always entered it in uppercase if I was to do it from the page i.e. the UI level presentation level I could come in and I could validate or I could uh, when adding or editing depending on whether I've got the add page uh, or the edit page up okay um, but of course that only applies to this page what I really want to do is go into the database tab uh, find my table country type find my field code and apply the formula at this level so that when I'm inserting I can apply a formula or updating I can apply a formula or validating so what I want to do is just to see and show you how this works let's say I want to make sure we'll break this into two the first change will be let's make sure the code is always uppercase okay so even if the user types it in lowercase in the interface it gets saved as uppercase okay obviously this is just an example there are a million and one different things you can do um, really you're just restricted by your, your imagination and requirements so let's um, pick as we say the uh, code and we're going to, when we're updating into the database, either as an insert or an update. So let's say uh, we're going to insert, so we put here. Uh, the formula we want to apply is uppercase uh, the code. So we can very easily find the functions. Okay, and we have string and we have upper. And as you can see, it's now waiting for us to type in code. Okay. Just made a, just move that. That's it. So we're saying equals uppercase the code. Okay. We can copy that now, and when we are updating, we want to do the same thing. If we now uh, build that, okay, and we're going to go back into our pages. Um, let's go and show that in live preview mode. Just wait for that to come up. Uh, country type let's just bring this up let's pick uh, it doesn't really matter let's just pick one from the list in fact let's look for United here we are United States so the code at the moment is already US okay let's just change that to lowercase XX 
Okay. Now when we save that, we expect that to uppercase whatever I've typed in. So we'll hit the save and sure enough it's uppercased United States. Okay, that's brilliant so far. Um, if we now go and do a similar thing but on the validation, we can add our own validation at the database level. So again, we pick our field which is code and we want to validate say when updating record again tick the entry and we can type in our formula functions we're going to put some logical functions so we say if so if when this condition print that else do that so I'm going to put in a condition something along the lines so if code is equal to xx then that's not allowed so let's say xx is not allowed for example um, if it's not xx then that's okay we don't want to display any error just carry on so this little fragment here will do some validation if the code is equal to xx print an error uh, don't update the record else we're okay so um, let's go and build and then we're going to run the application back to pages live preview let's bring up the page and we're going to edit the record Let's just edit the first one for example. Let's type in the code XX and this time we should fail the validation. Record won't be saved and an error message will pop up. And there it is, XX is not allowed. So if I now change that, okay, and then save, this time I expect it to be saved and no validation error. There we go. So there you go, you can see how easy it is to add formulas at the data access layer. Big advantage being, of course, as I mentioned earlier, all records uh, that go into that particular field table, for, doesn't matter where they've come from in your application, all go through uh, this validation and or saving uh, process. Rather than at a page level, it happens at the database level essentially. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, my name is Tim Titchmarsh from .NET Architect and uh, thank you for listening.